Yo, what's happening guys? My name is Beastie and welcome back to the channel and today I've got a juicy video for you. <laughs> Have you guys ever enjoyed something so much to the point where it became an obsession? No, I'm not talking about porn. No, just stop. I'm talking about something else like uh, Legos or push-ups. I, I don't know. Have you ever done anything that you love so much you just became obsessed with it? Well, today's video is a little bit like that. It's about a dude that's obsessed with the... Uh, I'll let you guess. Uh, what, what do you think this guy's obsessed with, huh? Huh? Lego? Making sandwiches? Picking kids up in a white van? It's Pac-Man. This dude is obsessed with Pac-Man. One of you guys sent this video to me, and it, it is so weird. I don't understand how somebody could become obsessed with Pac-Man. Pac-Man? It's literally a, a yellow mouth that runs around and bites stuff. I mean, what's there to be obsessed with? I know, shut up and watch the video. Listen. If you guys want to sub to my gaming channel, I know you don't want to hear this down there. Also, I've created a brand new reaction channel. <laughs> I know you don't care. It's down there as well. So we're going to be watching Totally Obsessed Pac-Man. Leave your comments down below for whatever videos I should check out next. It's cringy and weird. We're watching this in three, two, one. Yellow mouth. I, I can't think of anything else with Pac-Man. Virginity. I, I don't know. Just watch it. Meet Tim Crist, a man obsessed with Pac-Man. Hmm? After all this time, he's still there. He's still yellow. He's still perfectly round. He's still eating things. I feel as if his glowing light is always protecting me and guiding me and making all my enemies blue and edible. Behold, I am Pac-Man. Okay. <laughs> We've got a really strange video here. This guy is very, very creepy. I get a pedophile vibe with this guy. Uh, my voice just cracked. Don't know why. Am I the only one that feels like he wants to touch me in my balls or something? I mean, the way he looks, he's got a mullet, he, he's got the Pac-Man mask. It's like he's a killer, a serial killer, but only he's wearing a Pac-Man disguise or something. I, I'm very uncomfortable right now. I, I don't know what to think. Pac-Man just gives me this feeling of giddiness, like there's all these tingles running up and down my nipples. Uh, what the hell is this guy? He's so freaking weird! I have this feeling of tingles running up and down my nipples. Well, no shit, that's probably you having diabetes, or you're about to burst down in breast milk. Either way, you're so strange, what the hell? He's over here like this, like, ah, Pac-Man! I, I, I don't get it, it's it's just, it's, it's, it's Pac-Man, dude. Chill your titties down. I don't understand why this guy's so excited. Tingles running up and down my nipples, and it's just this wonderful thing, like, hey, look! It's Pac-Man. For the past 20 years, Tim's life has been consumed by Pac-Man. God, I can smell the armpit sweat. Ah, talk about a basement dweller. This guy, oh my God, the way he's over here like, like this. Oh, I know, I know, I'm probably worse. But look, at least I don't live in a basement. I live in a dump. If you've never played Pac-Man before, it's a little something like this. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, that hurts so much, my ball! Have you ever had somebody scrape uh, like a nail across one of those chalkboards, the old school ones? Or uh, or the, they rub something together that makes that really high-pitched screeching noise and you just feel it in your balls? My balls hurt, they're tingling. The cringe was so next level, my balls hurt. Oh, please don't, I, please don't make me watch that part again. Oh, that was so bad. Hang on a minute. All right, I, I'm cupping my balls hard. That was so cringy. Oh. If you've never played Pac-Man before, it's a little something like this. Look what you've done. Ah. <sighs> You don't even understand how cringy that was. You gotta stop and think, there was a camera crew here. They had a mic, you know, hooked up to his shirt, and they're all sitting there rolling away, watching this dude going, whatever the hell that was. Oh, that was so painful. This dude's played so much Pac-Man, he has every sound effect memorized. Which is actually kind of impressive, but also really cringy. It's like he has a bond with Pac-Man. Oh, hold up a minute now, come on. Bullshit! Kim Chris, Tim's wife? Now come on, you expect me to believe this basement dweller has a wife? Yo, listen, you know how I imagine this guy? I picture this guy being the dude you see at the bus stop, and he's got a little book out, you know, like a love book with like two people in the front, and then he's got his headphones in, he's over there. 
<laughs> like one of those mouth breathers, you know? And they whistle when they breathe. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying. I imagine him being that, but he's got a wife? I've never even been on a date before. I'm a freaking loser. And this dude's got, well, what? Maybe this nerd has something going for him. I don't know what it is, but I, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. What am I doing wrong? I'm sitting over here, don't, I, I, I'm, 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 what's wrong with me? I don't, I don't, I, okay, I just need, I, where's the gun? I, I gotta shoot myself. If this guy's outdone me, I need to put a bullet through my brain. It's like he has a bond with Pac-Man. Uh, he has the psychic connection with Pac-Man. Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Pac-Man. Oh, dude, come on, please. You're gonna make me throw up. He's over here, Pac-Man, 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 running through the uh, inside of an arcade. An arcade, I've never, I haven't seen an arcade in decades. When was this film? Pac-Man, Pac-Man. I get kind of an oddball little Pac-Man feeling when I get the impression that he may be nearby. And there he'll be, you know, his golden yellow light just off. <laughs> Yo, oh, somebody cage this dude up. That's what happens when you let a man that jerks off to anime and he sits in a basement all day and he plays nothing but Pac-Man when he's finally set free to go places because he's not going to go on his own. He's socially awkward. He needs someone to come with him. So let's say someone's like, yo, you want to stop playing Pac-Man and go to the arcade and get pizza? He's over here. Ah, ah, ah. Giddy like a little kid you just give him candy to. He's running around hugging a Pac-Man machine. He has a wife? Somebody explain this to me. I'm I'm completely lost. <laughs> Hi, Batman. The drool will be there, and he'll be reaching in his pockets instead of for a condom. He'll be reaching for tokens. Quarter, 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 quarter. Hello. How are you? Might I perhaps ask you for some quarters that I may offer them to the Great Yellow One? Certainly, certainly. You keep the Great Yellow One from going through my wall again, yeah. right? Sorry about that. He's really hard on the buttons. I feel bad for the machine. You know? Thank God I'm not a Pac-Man machine. Right, right. No, don't, okay. <laughs> I should destroy you with my Pac-Man now, okay? <laughs> Look at that, he's over there. <laughs> I have a feeling after he's done playing uh, Pac-Man. By the way, don't you have a Pac-Man machine? If you're obsessed with Pac-Man, why would you need to go and play Pac-Man and spend your own money? You would probably own a machine, right? Something doesn't add up here. Anyway, when this guy's done playing Pac-Man, because obviously he doesn't have a machine, doesn't make sense to me, but they probably run in there, grab some Germex, some bleach, wipe the machine down and leave it in quarantine. I mean, you know, they're gonna wait for that grease to harden, they chisel it off like snow, ice. That's how much grease basement dwellers have on their fingers. Believe you me, I know. Tim has spent $10,000 in quarters alone, playing every day on his lunch break. Yeah, he's possessed. Yeah, he's possessed, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In spite of playing Pac-Man since he was seven years old, Tim has yet to master the game. <laughs> when the holy semicircle of life meets his demise. When the holy semicircle of life meets his demise. Why are you talking like some type of character out of the Lord of the Rings or something? It's just Pac-Man. It's a game. It's a yellow mouth that eats balls. It's not that badass. Chill. Pac-Man was made for 20 different game systems, and Tim has every one, enabling him to play in every room in his home. It's very frustrating trying to play Pac-Man with Tim. You have to avoid them. The trick is to not run into them when they try to eat. You see, game over. Now you don't get to play anymore, and it's all me. You get to watch me play. It's just a total exercise in futility for me because I'll be waiting 15 minutes for my turn. Pac-Man wants to just, ha Pac-Man eat you now! Ah! How's that? I'm gonna cry. Oh, what? No, don't cry. <laughs> and okay, hold on. In 2001, Tim put his passion for Pac-Man to music in a song called Pac-Man is Naked and So Should You. Are you ready for Batman? <laughs> Here comes Batman, go! Oh, oh! Oh, I can't do it! Oh! I can't do it, I can't do it. I can't do it. <sighs> All right, well, we'll try to go back and watch it, but my heart skipped a couple beats, I'm not gonna lie. I saw that light at the end of the tunnel and it didn't look too good. My life just flashed before my eyes and it was me being a little virgin retard sitting here watching YouTube videos. God, please don't, please don't be that bad. It looked really bad. All the cringe, I could feel my heart giving away. Are you ready for Batman? <laughs> it's a bad new goal. What's wrong with you? Tim, Tim, what's wrong with you? The best way to Pac-Man is to use the game. You move the joystick and you eat the dots. Okay, that, that hurt a lot. He, really, he made a song, a song for Pac-Man? 
Either this is the world's greatest actor, or this man could kill with cringe. I don't say this often, and I've reviewed a lot of cringy videos. This man is so cringy, he could kill with his cringe. You show somebody that song, and you're gonna drop dead. I'm not even lying. That is a deadly weapon, and that should not be on YouTube. Somebody stumbles across this at a young age, their heart could stop. There should be counselors involved. Sometimes, you just gotta bring the message to the people. Occasionally I'll be driving around and I'll pass somebody who doesn't look like he has invited the full glory of Pac-Man into his life. And I feel the need to, you know, convey to him somehow that he really should. Pac-Man! 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 What the hell is this? He's driving around in a car with the- uh, hold up. He's driving around in a car with the megaphone. No, I'm not gonna use it. There's a lot of old people around me and I wouldn't want to put them in a grave early. Mainly because they don't have money I could take. Uh, but he's running around a car. Pac-Man! Pac-Man! With one of these megaphones just screaming, Pac-Man. Why? 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 I, I, I don't understand the full glory of Pac-Man. How would you even know if somebody played Pac-Man or not based on their looks? What? If they're a fat, smelly virgin with pimples all over their face and a hook nose, they play Pac-Man? Is that how it works? So you pass by and there's like this guy coming out of the gym all buff, you know? And he's like, Pac-Man! You need to have Pac-Man! In your life. I, I'm sorry, I was cringy, but I just don't understand how are you going to evaluate whether or not somebody visually looks like they've played Pac-Man. What's wrong with this dude? Lest the public forget about Pac-Man, Tim goes out every week to remind them. Pac-Man! He won't rest until the world shares his enthusiasm for Pac-Man. I simply profess the glory of the golden one who is round and eats things. It is written that you shall play Pac-Man, and only then shall you know the glory of Pac-Man. It can be extremely embarrassing. When we're driving down the road, people are standing there like, Pac-Man? Bow before Pac-Man, feel his glory! Feel the glory of Pac-Man! See Pac-Man! No! See Pac-Man! I think these people are gonna look back on their lives. They're gonna be lying on their deathbed thinking, my God. I have squandered my life. Think of all the times I played things that weren't Pac-Man. All right, listen, I hate to say this. You, you just need to chill, bro. I know Pac-Man's better than, than life itself. You know, it's the best thing alive, better than sex. Pac-Man is just the best, but you need to bring it down a couple levels. I mean, you're driving by people with the megaphone screaming Pac-Man. No context given, just screaming Pac-Man at people. What, are they gonna look at you and be like, Oh, Pac-Man, oh yeah, oh, uh, that's cool, man, uh, hell yeah. It's just Pac-Man. No, nobody's gonna acknowledge that you like Pac-Man and come join you. Maybe this is like his mating call. Maybe that's how he got his wife. He's just driving by one day in his car, you know, with his megaphone, Pac-Man, Pac-Man, pac And then all of a sudden this woman goes, Pac-Man, back at him with a megaphone, and they go home and screw. That's how it happens. I, oh my god, I'm gonna get a megaphone, drive by, and just scream Call of Duty at people. Or Battlefield 1. That'll get them. That'll get all the bitches. Say Pac-Man! Say Pac-Man! And now it's too late. Pac-Man! It's adorable. <laughs> In a very disturbing way, it's adorable. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of the video. I feel like I went to a part of YouTube I probably shouldn't have been to. I've watched a lot of strange stuff on this website, but that, that takes the cake. A basement-dwelling virgin, non-butt-wiping man that somehow worships Pac-Man in a weird way. Is this how the spaghetti monster started? The worshipping of, uh... Of uh, whatever the hell their belief is, I can't remember. Is that a joke, by the way? The spaghetti monster, people to worship the spaghetti monster? I don't know, but I have a feeling pretty soon you're going to see the spaghetti monster church, and then you're going to see the church of Pac-Man. And this guy's going to be up there butt naked just holding a Pac-Man above a newborn child, you know, and then he's going to stab it to... Okay, that's going a bit too far. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please, if you ever like a game, do not become obsessed with it because you will become a basement dwelling weirdo that somehow manages to get married. Don't don't understand that one, but uh but hopefully you enjoyed the video and peace out.